Action News 15 with Taylor White and Chad Bond. Welcome to Action News 15. I'm your host, Chad Bond. And I'm Taylor White. Thank you for joining us tonight. A boating accident off the coast of Florida last month has had some unforeseen consequences worldwide. Two weeks ago, a boat containing one million pounds of the street drug marijuana caught on fire and sunk to the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Chad Bond has more on this story. Chad? Thank you, Taylor. The boat was recovered two weeks ago. One body was found inside, but his autopsy showed that he didn't drown or get killed by the fire. In fact, it was determined that Melvin Peterson, a former drug dealer for the Pollo Loco cartel, is the first person in recorded history to overdose on marijuana. When they brought him in, he was smiling ear to ear. His eyes were red like I imagine the devil's eyes will be when they die and go to hell. They actually turned bright green. I just can't believe it could kill someone. Totally, man. I mean, I'm never going to smoke that again. Oh, yeah, no way. I mean. We used to toke up every day. Yeah. But they never told us that you could, you know, like, overdose on it. Oh, yeah, now it just seems like suicide to put that in your mouth. I mean, it's like putting a gun in it and pulling the trigger. We could have died. Yeah, man. I'm just glad we stopped rolling those blunts, started rolling those degrees. Now we're the CEOs of Lehman Brothers. We running that shit. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Even the suppliers of the drug have called it quits. But with weed, no one knows anymore. People want a safer alternative. One kid tried to buy oregano off me. Do I look like a Whole Foods? The death of Melvin Peterson has had even more ramifications and has done nothing short of lift the global economy out of its recession. With no one buying or smoking marijuana, productivity in the workplace has skyrocketed, with everyone seemingly using their hard-earned money to invest into the economy. All the extra food that used to be eaten due solely to munchies has been distributed to third world countries and was enough to end world hunger. And possibly, most memorably, in just one week, physicist James Widmore, a former stoner, went to his blackboard for the first time in 20 years and solved Einstein's unfinished grand unified theory, which many predict will allow us to travel through time and accelerate objects faster than the speed of light. And to think, all of that was because of a man who smoked one joint too many. Truly a story to learn from, Chad. Yes. Stay tuned to find out which Hollywood starlet Tommy Chung is dating now after these quick messages.